programs. I'm never going to feel like doing the things that are tough or difficult or uncertain or scary or new, so I need to stop waiting until I feel like it. We all have a habit of hesitating. The idea isn't going to execute itself. And, and the book isn't going to write itself. And the, the weights out in the gym, they're not going to move themselves. You have to do it, and you have to do it now. But there's a motherfucker out there who wants what you have, who wants the position you are, who wants the job you have, who wants the wife that you have, or the husband. There's someone out there hungry and wants everything you can have. But if you're lazy, man, I don't want to talk to you. I want to deal with you. You don't make me feel dumber. You know, you're going to lower my level. I don't think so. The reason why you're so lazy is not because you don't have the ability. You're so lazy because your dream's so small. I believe in myself every day. I know I make mistakes. I know I'm not perfect. But I am not lazy. You can keep sleeping. I'm going to keep working. They say things like, I'll start Monday. It's not my fault. It's not fair. I'm too damn tired. Or my personal favorite, I don't have enough time. They have a loser mentality through and through. And until they recognize that the problem is them, they'll never improve. I know many talented people who had a great deal of potential, but they never realized their greatness, and they will end up going to their grave with all their good stuff still in them. You will be tested. And how you face that test and how you overcome that test determines the rest of your life. You got to have something that is inside you. Something that fires you up, something that drives you, something that gives you more power than you've ever had in your life. Your life comes down to your decisions, and if you change your decisions, you will change everything. The best of the best, they don't sleep. They keep working. But what are you going to do? Where do I start? And, and when's the best time to start? I have a very simple answer for that. Here and now. If you want something out of life, you got to go after it. Rise up and stop being lazy. Stop being lazy on a day-to-day -day basis. Stop waking up with the wrong attitude. Lazy doesn't qualify. It doesn't give you the things that you really truly need in your life. It won't push you. It won't make you better. It'll just bring you down and make you weak. Why would you want to be lazy? It's all business, nothing personal. If you want it, go get it. Procrastination will assassinate your motivation. And without motivation, how can you reach your destination? I'm not a lazy person. I want to be stronger. I want to be the best of myself every day of my life. Are you that person that says, you don't like to get up in the morning? You know, you hear that a lot these days. I'm not a person that likes to get up in the morning. I'm not a morning person. I say this often. When that sun is on my face, and not on my grave, it's a blessing. I don't need to be lazy. I need to be determined. I need to put in work. I got a job to do. I got responsibilities. And one thing you must understand when it comes to success, it's not waiting on you. It's not thinking about you. Yeah, there's gonna be some obstacles when it comes to success. But you got to continue down the path, moving forward. It's not gonna be something that's gonna happen overnight. But even when you're tired, find a way to be strong. When you feel like you can't carry on, find a way to carry on. You're human. We're all human. And we have those days. But it's a blessed day. It's a good day, but it's not a day to be lazy. 
Put your lazy aside. Don't wait for someone to hand you something. Don't put it aside and say, well, I'll do it tomorrow. Well, I'm not gonna do it right now. Tomorrow, I can take care of it tomorrow. Oh, tomorrow is good. I can do it tomorrow. No, you can do it now. Not tomorrow. Leave tomorrow alone. And stop letting lazy dictate your life. I don't agree with lazy. I preach it every day. If you want something out of life, you got to go after it. If you truly believe in yourself, then continue to believe in yourself. Have more faith in yourself and put lazy aside. Because it's not going to get you where you want in life. Lazy is not going to get you that promotion on your job. Lazy is not going to help you to run a company. Lazy is not going to give you the opportunity to be a CEO. That's not how it works. Your best players are champions right now. Your best players are the ones that's making it right now. And the ones that are lazy, they're not going to get anything from it. So I need you to stay determined. I need you to stay driven. And I need you to give it 110% of everything you got. Be strong, be powerful, and from the bottom of my heart, conduct your business. Motivation gets you going. Discipline, commitment, strong habits is what gets things done. Right? It's, very, it's all up here. Whoa, I feel good. But when it comes time to bring it into practice, grounded action is what gets things done. When you have built a habit, it's ingrained in your nervous system in such a way that the brain doesn't even have to consider whether or not it'll get done. It just gets done because you committed. Commit once. This is important. You guys need to write this down. Commit once. You don't need to commit more than once. You commit once to the thing that you're going to do, and then you do it every single day. So whatever it is that you're trying to achieve in life, the critical component is getting things done and getting things done in a systematic way. Building the character that's associated with getting things done in a systematic way requires that you become disciplined. Oftentimes people will come to me for advice on fitness, on building their businesses, I mean, their relationships, whatever the case may be. And often the place that they're dropping the ball is in bad habits or not building productive habits because it's very difficult to just get up and change your life just change the way you do things people like to say that all the time hey just stop doing this or start doing that they like to give advice but the the underlying factor is that our, our friend our individual whoever's asking the question is not disciplined enough to actually put that thing in action get that thing done so the thing that i have always told my students and my clients is to start with a small win. Begin with something small. So, for example, if you want to lose weight, I often tell people, just start walking every single morning. Don't worry about counting calories. Don't worry about complex workout ideas. Don't worry about anything that anyone is selling you. Just get up and walk every morning, right? Now, it's not the walking that's actually gonna make that person successful. Now, it will add to your success because getting up and walking fresh air and, and exercise is going to support you in losing weight. But we all know that there's far more factors to consider. But what it will do is create the virtue of discipline, commitment. The fact that that small win associated with getting up every single morning is under your belt, you're going to feel the courage, the confidence, and you'll have the ability to begin adding other things to your ability to, to grow stronger. So now that you know, it's been 60 days, 90 days, and it's like you got that pattern down pat. You get up every morning, you just walk, that's it. You don't think about it, it's become a habit. You now can use that tool of creating habits and instilling discipline with the next one. Basically what you're doing, and I've mentioned this in videos before, is you're getting comfortable with discomfort. You've gotta get comfortable in getting uncomfortable. And the minute that discomfort begins to woo you, you are no longer in control. Now the circumstances are. So put yourself purposefully in uncomfortable situations. There's no virtue is developed in a vacuum. Essentially, no virtue is developed in the absence of the practice, the expression. You've got to do the thing to have the power. Otherwise, you would have reached. It's been 10 years. You're not, you're not a goal person. And, I'll, and 
to be quite frank, it's difficult for even myself at times. If I don't have something nipping at my ass, now well, why go after something? Right? You've got to really like brainwash yourself to do that. Right? To create a situation where you, you sink or swim, and you'll learn how to swim. You've got to place yourself in the midst of a storm, and it's got to be a self-created storm. Otherwise, you know, most people have to wait till the shit comes crumbling down before they they take action in life. I'm inviting you to create a shit storm for yourself so that you will be motivated by the wolf crying at the door, by the dog nipping at your ass, by the fire under your ass. You want to know the real secret? The real secret to a happy and fulfilled life. Let me give you a hint. It's not how much money you have. It's not what car you drive, what house you live in, or what watch you wear. It's not even how many friends you have or how many people love you. It's one thing. How mentally tough your mind is. Listen, man, no matter what you do in life, you're going to get haters. You're gonna get people that don't understand what you're doing, whether you're following your dreams or just going through the paces, they're gonna be there. Making themselves feel better about their failures and their fears by putting you down. But when it comes to your dreams, your ambitions, their opinion is none of your business. Dreaming is good. Having goals is good. But sooner or later, there comes a time when you must act. Dreams without action, that's the path to delusion. Without action, these dreams and goals will fill your life with negative emotions. Things like anxiousness, nervousness. They will fester inside you and drain your energy. I've met a lot of successful people. And again, my definition of success is how happy a person is with their life, right? Now, I've met a lot of them, and there is one thing that they all have in common that I've found, and that's all of them have trained their mind to deal with anything life throws at them. Right? All of them know how to interpret the world around them and the things that happen. You're actually training your mind to believe that you can't have the things that you want. So I'm here to tell you today that you can have anything you want, be anyone you want, but you're gonna have to work. Hard work is the universe's great equalizer. If you keep taking action, in spite of all this stuff that might happen, guess what? Sooner or later, you're gonna start winning. Stop looking for the easy way. Stop looking for the shortcut, because let me tell you, there ain't one. Hard work is the thing that has leveled the playing field and given the average Joe a shot at a crown. Train your mind. Train your mind not to focus on the problem and make it bigger, but focus on the solution to solve it. This will make the problem smaller and easier to deal with in your mind, and then it will be solved quicker. You have to work on this daily. Work on how you interpret problems and the things that happen around you. Stay positive, stay focused, and most importantly, stay strong. Life is always gonna throw shit in your way. Things that will test you, things that will make or break you. And you've got two options. You can just stand there and take it, or you can smash through the thing and move on with your life. You have where you are right now and where you wanna can be. And there's only one road or one path that takes you there, and that's hard work. You have everything you need to have everything you want, but you must get to work. You can either be a victim of your life or the master of it. The choice is yours. I want you to put these two words together because it's going to change your life. Never settle. Never settle. You got to get this in your spirit no matter what. Never settle. You've been in this place too long. You've come into agreement with this place of brokenness, procrastination, laziness. Rip up the contract with your past and pursue your purpose and fulfill your destiny. Come to the resolve that you will never 
be this broke or broken again. One thing I know about destiny is that it will avoid you until you are no longer willing to tolerate the place where you have settled. The place called convenience. Settling is dangerous because it's basically an authorized intruder. When you settle, you're basically saying, I'm willing to accept less than what I deserve. Stop settling for anything that is beneath you. Stop settling for anything that's not up to your standards. You see, you gotta stop disappointing you. And the way you stop disappointing you is to put those two words together. Never settle for anything. Never settle for anybody. You do not have to settle. Listen to me carefully. You would not settle if you could see what was on the other side of hanging in there. After a while, it turns into regret. After a while, you start resenting the fact that you settled. When you give up hope, you stop dreaming. My friend, you stop believing. Can I ask you a question? When did you stop hoping? When did you stop believing? When did you stop talking? When did you stop dreaming? What was the day? What was the moment? What happened? Because I'm here to tell you, as a man thinks, so is he. Don't you ever lose hope. Don't you ever give up your mindset. Your dream is worth fighting for. If you desire to move from dreaming your dream to living your dream, you must recognize your value and you have to be willing to hold out for what you deserve. The moment I made up my mind, my life was transformed. And I'm telling you right now, if you get these two words in your spirit, your life will be transformed as well. My friend, hear me, never settle, never accept anything less than the goal. Focus on everything that you have to gain now that you recognize your value, now that you realize that you deserve more. Hear me, get your hopes up and don't you ever settle, never settle. When we were young, we stood in front of the class in elementary school and we would tell our friends, I'm gonna be rich, I'm gonna be a business guy, I'm gonna travel the world, I'm gonna be an athlete, I'm gonna be an entertainer, I'm gonna be a doctor, I'm gonna be a lawyer. You never stood up in front of that class and said, hey, I'm gonna be average. Never settle. They say, they say a mind, a mind is, a is a terrible thing to waste. The mind is so powerful, it's so unique, it can do many things. And you are the one that is responsible for the thoughts that enter your mind. How do we, How do we as individuals, as people get away from misery get away from misery how do we allow ourselves to elevate the game to go higher than we've ever gone before gone before how do we escape from the misery because misery has no place in your life misery that's exactly what it is. Misery doesn't bring happiness. Misery is on a mission to take everything away from you. What is misery doing for you? What has misery done for you lately? Has it given you everything that you need? Has it made you a better person? Do you feel that all you know is sorrow why do you allow misery to handcuff you to chain you down the mind is a powerful weapon 
It belongs to you. And everything that you think, therefore you shall be. Be greater than your fears. Be stronger than your doubts. Because your mind is very powerful. Bring in the goodness. Absorb the right energy. Moving with a purpose. Conditioning your mind is what this is about. Every day it's not going to be a good day. But every day is a blessed day. Because you are above the ground. You are walking tall. There is no time for sorrow. There is no time to give up. This is the opportunity. An opportunity of a lifetime. The of a lifetime. There is a light inside of every one of us, an ember that burns and begs us to become more than what we have ever been. It's our aspirations that must become our allies. I noticed that everything that I've accomplished over the course of my life, I accomplished with a new set of beliefs and a new set of habits. I noticed I was able to make things happen when I destroyed the door in the room. See, I don't care what your goal is. It could be relationships. It could be to lose weight. It could be to make more money. It could be to become something nobody in your family has ever been. The moment that you destroy the door, the way out in the room of your dream, that's when you make it happen. What you do while you are in pain will echo through the ages. Scrape the grill of your past and get all that junk out of there. Of every memory of every failure, you need to unplug from everybody and everything that is telling you that you cannot have your future, that you cannot have this goal, that you can't do what's on your heart to do. You gotta unplug, 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 unplug. There are too many people in your life that keep telling you that you are not qualified, that you don't have what it takes, that you will never be able to accomplish because your resume ain't long enough, because you don't have the experience, because you are unfit. And so you got to unplug from all the negative voices. you got to unplug from everything and everybody that's telling you you cannot have that dream, that you are not qualified to have that dream. you got to unplug. you got to unplug. It may hurt because there are some people that you're going to have to let go of. There are some people that, that can't come with you to the next level. They're not qualified to fly at the frequency that you're flying at. They cannot come. And you got to get in touch with you. See, you can't have the dream unless you know you. Now, everybody wants this dream. Everybody wants this lifestyle, but they don't know themselves. And so you need to take some physical evaluation, some emotional and psychological evaluation, spiritual evaluation, and you got to figure out, okay, what works and, and, and what doesn't? And, and what are my boundaries and what are my limitations and what am I capable of and what do I need to work on? And then you need to connect with the people that believe in your dream. Life moves at the speed of your relationships, connections, and circles. You need to ask for forgiveness. You need to forgive yourself. You need to reprioritize your activities. Everybody wants the dream to come true, but nobody wants to reprioritize their activities. Nobody wants to hack into their habitual nature and build new habits that are going to give you the future that you seek that you seek after. If not now, then when? Dream big, start small. You gotta dream big, start small, act now. Dream, dream big, big, start, start small, small, act, act now. now.